Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday and welcome to Mondays with Maybay. I am Jeannie May, and this week's episode we're going to talk about pain and suffering and my version of the difference between pain and suffering and and the pain that we put ourselves through and the suffering that we put ourselves through unknowingly because of that pain most of the time. Um, However, I do want to highlight that without suffering, there's no, there's no personal growth, okay? So, yes, pain is inevitable. Suffering, however, is optional. And with that, suffering comes growth, or should come growth. Think about it, okay? When, when we go through hardships in life, a lot of the time it's something that's out of our control. For example, when we get cheated on, that is an example of pain, okay? That is an example of something that has happened in our life that we could not control. The suffering from getting cheated on is obsessing over it, being insecure, constantly thinking about that, constantly holding other people to the standard that they're going to cheat on us or living out of fear that everyone's always going to cheat on us or that we're never going to be good enough. That is a suffering that we put ourselves through. However, there's a lot of pain in the world and unfortunately it's, it's inevitable. You're going to experience pain throughout your life, but it's all about your mindset and all about how you react to it. 90% of the time, we receive more reprimand than we do praise, okay? Especially children, especially children. Me as a mom, I can think throughout a typical day, I probably tell my son, don't do that, uh, inside voice, stop doing what you're doing, why are you doing that, don't hurt, like, don't hurt yourself, put that away. I reprimand him more times than I give him praise, and I don't want to admit that, because I like to think of myself as a good mom, and a lot of the times, the reason us parents do reprimand our children is because A, they're going to get hurt and we don't want them to get hurt, or B, we just don't want to deal with it, right? Like, my son is so full of life and so fun and just so happy, and 90% of the time he just wants to dance and scream for no reason and just have fun and live life, but I have such a sensitive head that I get headaches so easily from noise and just different things and when he is so loud and excited over something over time it gives me a headache and so I'm like Bo inside voice please like come on inside voice man constantly I'm telling him to stop being his true self or that his true self isn't good enough because I don't want to have to deal with the pain that it's going to cause me, which isn't right. So 90% of the time, us as people are constantly being reprimanded. We're being told that our truest self is not acceptable. And if you think about it, again, going back to kids, when they're born, they're so innocent and they're so full of life and they are a true, authentic version of themselves. Again, my son loves dancing, he loves taking pictures, he's loud, he's boisterous, he's so full of life and enjoyment. And I am constantly telling him, sit down, hey, we need to calm down, hey, inside voice, hey, pick up after yourself, hey, that's not okay, that's not okay, that's not okay, that's not okay, is so all he hears is, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. And over time, we start to, we start to build up this idea that we're not good enough and that we need to be something we're not or that we need to change who we are to please other people and we spend so much time abandoning our true self to try to fit in we try to make ourselves into something that we're not I know as a person I just want to be accepted for who I am but I'm constantly facing judgment in today's society. I'm constantly facing this pressure of, of being a woman, owning my own business, being a mom, being pretty. Like all of these things that we face, like we're not pretty enough, we're not tall enough, we're not skinny enough, we're not X, Y, and Z, fill in the blank, whatever it is, right? We constantly feel this pressure that we're not good enough. We constantly feel like 
the world's telling us we're not good enough if we're not skinny. If we're not a size zero, we're not skinny enough. If we're not at least five foot eight, we're not tall enough. If we're all of these different things that we're not good enough. And over time, that that takes a toll on you, on your insecurity, on your head, on on your inner voice, and it makes you abandon your truest self. It makes you forget what you really enjoy. I lost who I was trying to please other people. I went through a very abusive relationship um, that caused me a lot of pain. And unfortunately, that's inevitable. <laughs> other people's choices caused me pain. However, I put myself through that suffering because I chose to stay. In my head, I didn't think I would ever be good enough for someone else. I didn't think that I could ever be capable of love or truly loving someone. So I stayed in a very abusive relationship um, that's causing me a lot of, a lot of issues down the road. Um, now it's been, it's been 10 years since that abusive relationship has ended and I'm still dealing with side effects from it. I had my jaw broken. I had to get my jaw wired shut. Um, I still <laughs> cannot open my mouth very far because of how I got my jaw wired. Um, he broke out six teeth in my mouth and I had um, veneers put in. I had implants put in. And when they did it, that it was done incorrectly. Um, it was kind of in a rush scenario, and and my jaw actually is in my bone is actually infected now. So I have to get them taken out, and I have to get a denture put in, and and that messes with my self image so much because as a woman, I feel like I'm not acceptable. I'm not good enough if I don't have this perfect smile. If I have something wrong with me, I'm never going to be good enough. I'm never going to be accepted. But the reality is, you can't allow that pain that you went through to continue to cause you suffering. Yes, I went through something so traumatic that no one should ever have to go through. Abuse is not okay, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, it is not okay. So I want to right now say, if you are in any kind of a relationship that is abusive, physically, mentally, emotionally, get out. It is not okay. You deserve more than that. Second of all, don't continue to cause yourself suffering. Yes, there is pain involved, but that doesn't mean that you have to keep suffering. It's been 10 years. Mentally, I still have night terrors because of it. I keep putting myself through suffering because I can't admit that I need help. Now I'm better, so I'm, I'm going to therapy and it's working itself out. But. I keep putting myself through this suffering saying you're not going to be good enough, you're not going to be good enough, you're not going to be good enough, when the reality is I'm perfect just the way I am. I went through an event and it changed me. I lost sight of who I was. But here I am, 10 years later, finally strong enough to come in front of a camera and tell you guys that these are not my real teeth, these are fake. <laughs> and that is... one of my biggest insecurities and here I am in front of a camera in front of all of you people telling you that because I want to be raw and I want to be real and in order for me to grow I have to step out of my comfort zone and I have to say hey I'm not perfect I might seem like I have a perfect life that everything's all put together but it's not I struggle financially I have mental issues I have physical issues that I'm working through okay I'm not perfect no one no one is. And that's the reality of it. That's the beauty of it. That is what makes each one of us unique, okay? 90% of the time when you see someone work and work and work and work and work and become successful and end up committing suicide, right? We hear about all of those success stories where people climb the tallest mountain and get all these riches and wealth and fame and X, Y, and Z, and then they kill themselves because they thought that they could fill that void with all of this money, all of this wealth, all of this fame, and 
the reality is they just couldn't live with themselves any longer. But that doesn't mean you need to end your life. That means you need to change who you are. And I guarantee the reason you can't live with yourself is because you created a version of yourself that you thought you needed to be. Let me say that again. You created a version of yourself that you thought you needed to be. When the reality is you are perfect just the way you are. If you have that thought like, oh, I can't live with myself anymore. I can't, I just can't do this anymore. Then change, make a change. We don't know who we are because we lose sight of ourself trying to be something we're not. Nothing that you could ever do will make you more of a person. Doesn't matter if you drive that Lamborghini. It doesn't matter if you buy that million dollar mansion. It doesn't matter if you only wear Louis Vuitton and Michael Kors. It doesn't matter. None of that crap matters. You need to accept who you are. You can't take your money, your fame, your wealth, your friends with you when you die. It's only you. You came into this world a naked, innocent person. A human. A naked, innocent human. You're going to leave this world the exact same way. You can't take your money. You can't take your social standing. You can't take your wealth. You can't take your friends. You can't take your Lamborghini. Some people are like, oh, just bury me in my car, right? What? Okay, whatever. But the reality is when you die... It's just you and your creator. That's it. You're not taking anything else with you. So why spend so much energy and so much time stressing over it? Accept who you are. I'm not perfect. I am so far from perfect. And I'm accepting that. I have fake teeth. You know how hard it is for me to accept that? I have so many imperfections, but I am perfectly and wonderfully made in God. And I'm okay with having fake teeth. Yeah, it sucks. It's hard emotionally. It's so hard because I feel like I had something taken away from me. But I guarantee 90% of you would not know unless you have dentures or veneers yourself that these are fake. Right? 90% of what is in our head that's like so consuming, people don't even realize unless we tell them. We obtain an image to please ourselves because we think we're not good enough if we don't have a success, if we don't have money, if we don't have a home or a Lamborghini or XYZ, whatever it is that you feel like you need. That's not true. Your personal growth is on the other side of what's holding you back. Are you so afraid of being an entrepreneur because you have skeletons in the closet? Are you so afraid of starting your own business because you feel like you're going to fail because everything else you've ever done in life is, has failed you? Do you, are you so afraid to be a parent because your parents were terrible parents? Are you so afraid to take the risk and get that new job that you've always wanted to do because your spouse or your family or your friends might criticize you from going to being a doctor to being a chef? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is that is restricting you is mentally causing yourself a lot more struggle than it's worth, okay? You will not grow as a person until you step on the other side of that comfort zone. Find the edge of your comfort zone and step over it. For me, it was being an entrepreneur. Like, yes, I love being in front of people. I love speaking. I've been modeling for years. I'm I'm good at it. Like I know I'm I know how to talk to people. I know I have an image. I know I can be articulate. Like I, I know all these different things, okay? But I don't think I'm smart. I've gone to college, I have a degree. I don't feel like I'm smart because I've been told my entire life that I'm not smart. 
I don't feel like I'm pretty. And I know a lot of you are like, what do you mean? You're a model. I am so insecure about myself because I have fake teeth. Because this half of my face is partially paralyzed. And I guarantee you wouldn't have noticed that. But look, as I'm talking, this one's a lot more ahem or her. And this one's like... I, this half of my face is partly paralyzed. I have a brain tumor. And I can't do anything about it. I don't feel like I'm pretty. I don't feel like I'm beautiful. Even though <clears throat> I've become a model. Even though... I literally get paid for my looks. I don't feel like I'm pretty because I've been told my entire life that I was never pretty enough. As a model, it is so bad for your mental health. Let me be the first to tell any one of you that ever thought about modeling, okay? You constantly get told that you're not pretty enough, that you're not tall enough, that you're too tall, that you're too short, that you're too fat, that you're too skinny, that you need blonde hair, only blondes are pretty, that all of these different things. It took me over 10 years to finally look in the mirror and say, wow, you look really good today, Jeannie. It took me 10 years to think of myself as pretty. It doesn't matter how many people tell me I'm pretty. I would never believe I was pretty until I looked in the mirror and I said, wow, you look really pretty today, Jeannie. Isn't that crazy? Step outside of your comfort zone. That edge, that restriction, step over it. I became an influencer even though I didn't think my life was exciting. I didn't think I was smart enough to do it. I didn't think I was pretty enough for anyone to want to do anything that I do. <laughs> and here I am, an influencer. Yes, it's hard. It's scary because I have skeletons in my closet. I've gone to jail. I had a felony. I had a kid out of wedlock. I was in an abusive relationship. I have fake teeth. I have a brain tumor. I have all of these different things that I didn't want people to know about me because I felt like it was a hindering factor. When the reality is that pain that I went through is who I am. It shaped me into who I am. And without that pain, I would have never experienced the growth that I have today. I would have never found the love for Jesus Christ. I would have never found the motivation to be successful from all of those people telling me that I would never amount to shit, okay? I would not be who I am today without that pain. So don't let that pain hold you back. Do not let that pain continue to cause you suffering. Let me tell you today that you are more than your pain. Let that pain motivate you. Let that pain push you. Let that pain drive you to success. Step over your comfort zone. Pain is inevitable. We're all going to experience it, whether it's a loss of a loved one, whether it's heartbreak, whether it's being in an abusive relationship, whether it's a health issue. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is not. You choose how long you're going to suffer. You choose how bad you're going to suffer. You choose your life. Not that person that hurt you. Not that pain that was caused to you. You. So what are you going to choose? Are you going to hide behind the barrier? Hide inside your comfort zone where you know you're okay? Or are you going to take that risk and say, you know what? I deserve more and step out of your comfort zone. Let all the restrictions go and be who you want to be. If I can do it with so many health issues, so much baggage, so much trauma that I've gone through and still sit here in front of you with a smiling face, preaching how incredible God is telling you all about my life story and people still want to listen to me and still subscribe and still follow me, then you can do it too. I'm not saying be an entrepreneur. I'm saying whatever you want to do, do it. Life's too short not to try. Life's too short not to take that risk. If you want to grow, you need to develop healthy habits. And part of that healthy habit is just doing it. Set a goal, okay? 
set a goal for 30 days. For me, I didn't feel pretty enough. So I did a skincare routine for 30 days, every morning and every night. And then my skin started feeling lighter and I started feeling prettier and I didn't feel like I needed makeup all the time. And I was like, wow, I'm actually kind of pretty. Okay, this is cool. But it took me to develop a habit for 30 days for me to look in the mirror and say, wow, Jeannie, you actually look really pretty. Go to the gym for 30 days. If you don't feel fit enough or if that's not in your comfort zone, go to the gym for 30 days. If you want to expand your knowledge, read every day for 30 days. If you want to eat healthier, cook homemade meals every day for 30 days. You would be so surprised at what can be created from that habit. If you instill it in yourself now to make that change in 30 days, you will find yourself saying, oh, I, have, I, I, I need to do this. I, this is on my to-do list. To, I have to do this. Things that you didn't want to do becomes things that you do anyways. I don't want to go to the gym every day, but I go to the gym every day because I know my future self will thank me for it. I will feel better. I will feel healthier. I can keep up with my son. I can go do things and not be as winded. <laughs> I will look in the mirror and say, wow, Jeannie, you look really good. Do things to better your mental health. Don't continue yourself to suffer. And whatever that may look like, I know I kind of focused on like health and beauty and whatnot, but whatever that looks like, if it's your job, if it's your family, anything, step outside of your comfort zone. If you are doing something to please someone else, take a look at yourself and say, this isn't who I am. What makes me happy? Who am I? If you have come to this point where you lost yourself. I lost myself in my previous marriage trying to please someone, being something I wasn't. I'm not that perfect stay-at-home wife that just bends over backwards and does whatever my husband wants. I have ambitions, I have goals, I have dreams, and quite frankly, I just wasn't ready to get married. So it didn't work out. But I lost myself trying to be something that someone else wanted me to be. It took me years, uh, <laughs> years after my divorce for me to say, you know what, I actually really like hiking. I really like kayaking. I like cooking. I like going to church. I didn't know what I liked. I knew what we liked as a couple. I didn't know what I liked. Don't allow yourself to lose your raw, authentic self trying to please other people. Don't allow all of that pain to allow you to lose yourself. Don't allow the reprimand of today's society to make you forget who you are. Yeah, society is constantly going to tell you that you're not enough. But stand up and say, yes, I am. Because you are. God made you the way you are for a reason. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. Take it from a fashion model that has health issues, that's been beaten to hell and back, that doesn't even have real teeth, okay? These are fake. That's half paralyzed. My face is not equal. But I'm still doing it. I'm still living my dream because I have the courage to stand up and say, I am enough. You are enough. And together we can do this, okay? That's all I'm going to leave you with today. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is not. So why are you allowing yourself to continue to suffer when you don't need to? I hope you have an incredible day. I hope you have a fantastic week, because it's Monday. It's a whole new week full of whole new opportunities. I am going to enjoy my week as best as I can, and I hope you do the same. Make a difference today. Get out there. Show that world your beautiful, raw, authentic self and, and just be you. That's it. Also, 
I will be starting a new Instagram. Um, my last Instagram got taken down for community guideline, community guideline violations. I don't know how because I don't do anything cool, but um, yeah, it got taken down. So I'm going to be starting a new uh, Instagram channel and I will post my links on my YouTube. I will also be doing more one-on-one -on -one coaching and motivational speaks on my true fans. Um, so please go subscribe there, follow me, I would really appreciate the support. Um, no, I don't post anything vulgar, nude, graphic on there, so not your typical true fans. Yes, I'm a model, so yes, I do have modeling on there, like lingerie modeling and whatnot, but nothing x-rated. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you being here. I'm so glad that you're here today, and thank you for watching Mondays with Maybe. I'll catch you guys next Monday.